Hello. Hello. She's here. I'm here. But um, we're reviewing something today, so it's kind of like Tales in the Toilet Tales in the Toilet Bowl slash Pandora's box. As you can see, I have eyelashes on. Now this is something I bought for my trip to Germany, which I was supposed to be on today. You know you're not human. Oh, sad face. You're not human. I wish I wasn't here, but I am here. Anyway, I bought these Friday, I believe. I didn't know they were going to come today. These were the last things to turn up. I bought quite a bit of stuff for it because um, I've decided I'm going to keep my hair dyed until I go. And yeah, so I bought some hair dye. I bought some more makeup and I bought these. These are magnetic lashes. As you can see, there's two pairs missing. Two pairs missing. Come on. So I'm not the only one who's got eyelashes. Hi, I have eyes. She has eyelashes too. Um, so what you get in this little pack is you get five pairs of eyelashes. And the reason I bought the, the set, what this this set in particular, was because the other eyelashes, the other magnetic, other magnetic eyelashes wasn't big, and I like to have big eyelashes because I like to look fake. Not fake as in. Not in. No, not fake as in like, give me a person who's completely fake. Children. Not like plastic <laughs> fake, okay? <laughs> I just like to look not real because my eyebrows are black. So they're obviously not real. The eyelashes are way too big, so they're obviously not real. My lips are real. And unfortunately this thing here. <laughs> my hair colour's not real. Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. My hair colour's not real, but I like to look fake in a certain way. Everything else is real, more natural, but I like to have sort of fake bits such as eyelashes and black eyebrows and random hair colour. And sometimes I have my nails done, but I haven't had a chance to do them yet. So what you get in this set is you get magnetic eyeliner. Now, they're going to do it on her hands because I've got mittens on. I'm gonna go shake it. <laughs> so you have to shake it. Twenty times. And then you just don't do it on your hand, like generally, unless you want to check it out. So you've got to let it dry. You've got to let it dry. If you don't let it dry, it's just gonna clump up together and it's gonna go all over the eyelashes, and you don't want that. Because the eyeliner has got metal in it, not it's not like hard on your eyes or anything but it's got some metal flakes in it but what you've got to remember is i do i don't see very well and i managed to put these on on my own so if you have got sight loss they are super easy to apply because yeah. you don't got to fiddle about with glue and then try and position them because if they don't go right on the first try you can pull them off and because the the eyeliner has got metal in it yeah you just you can reposition it without fiddling about too much so you don't have to put more glue on and if no. that comes off at the side you don't have to put putting glue you just do an extra bit of eyeliner so it works out a lot easier because one of the main things that women use on their eyes anyway is eyeliner so I thought, just put it on like makeup i thought the fact that it's got metal in it it was going to be really really hard on on the eyeballs it's not and my eyes because they are so screwed up they are quite sensitive and i've got i've had these on for about an hour mm. and i've been fine whereas if these were the ones with glue i probably would have had to take them off because the ones with the glue the glue gets on your bottom lash and you sort of go around like this mm. or i am because or it's the muscles the in my glue eye gets in your eye and that hurts like hell and the thing is the the thing is what I've got screws up the muscles of your eye and if you've got the glue you can't open your eye you've got to peel it back so but I think these are a good idea anyway because the thing is I don't like dealing I mean I wear false eyelashes anyway I don't like dealing with the glue because you've got to wait till it goes tacky and then you get glue all over your eyelashes and then you have to spend hours peeling it, it off your eyelashes and then the eyelashes react badly because they decide to fold over and then you've ruined a pair of eyelashes because I like to wear my eyelashes more than once they're not disposable to me because I've got like sets of eyelashes that I won't throw away because why should I? 
you know, they're my eyelashes. So although I have got eyelashes that you apply with glue, I've now got these ones, and I think these ones are a bit better. Is that dry? I think so, because it's... it's tacky, but it will work. Right. So I'm just going to take... That's what it looks like when dry. I'm just going to take one of my eyelashes. It's still very shiny when it's dry. It's really weird having an eyelash on my hand. I didn't know I have to do anything. I just literally stuck it on. It just... And because they're already preformed, they've already got the curve for your eye. And that's how strong they are. Mm. And I've bought another eyeliner as well. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> I bought another eyeliner as well, which was another um, magnetic Ow, eyeliner. because the actual eyeliner is on my hair on the back of my hand and she... I um, bought another eyeliner that is for these lashes and it's actually windproof as well so and i've got both mascara um, both eyeliners on i've got some of that one and some of the other one and i've got both on so if i went outside and it was windy it's wind resistant it's waterproof it's smear proof so i think that one's smear proof as well the proof of pudding is in the hang on smear proof yes it's yeah. smear proof, um, smear -proof. Uh, look that one is as well so yeah. I don't I'm know if that one's how easy this is to remove because right this is with plain water I can't no but I'm just saying plain yeah she's got nothing else in her hand warm water it's warm no, it's warm Tiggy stop trying to drink the Tiggy I don't need you to drink <laughs> the water for me Tiggy I don't dude I'm waiting for the water's covered. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, so I've not not rubbed it. Right, so I think that this is waterproof because I haven't rubbed it, but it is wet. Right, I'm gonna tell you what it says on the back of this. Okay. Right, this is rub with rubbing. Okay, just give me a second until she's done the um, rubbing. That's with rubbing. Oh, right, okay. That's what normal water with rubbing. Now I'm going to try it with soap. <laughs> Hopefully it'll come off then. <laughs> if not, then she's stuck with a line of metallic eyeliner on her hand. Um, <laughs> Does it come off? <gasps> oh no, it doesn't come off. Um, <laughs> as you can see, it doesn't come off. It hasn't come off. That's a good thing though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kinda. Because um, if you're going out, and you're staying over someone else's house, for whatever reason it may be, you can always just stick your eyelashes on in the morning. Oh, hang on, you've really got to rub it. If you've got soap and water, and I mean, that is really giving it some welly. It's still not coming off though. Well, it has a bit. A tiny bit, oh my goodness. Um, I've just got to go and see if I can get these off. Right, so what you get in the pack, I mean, it is from the look okay. at it, my hair looks like it was black. Right, um, what you get in this pack, this pack was quite expensive though, this one was twelve ninety nine because although I bought other eyeliner, um, I was going to get another pack of eyelashes which were um, eight ninety nine. Um, they, they range in price, but this one's the whole pack. That All of this was twelve ninety nine, and the reason I got this one was because of the length of the eyelashes because I don't like small eyelashes because I don't think they look right on me because obviously like I said I like to look fake. So, I don't, I go for extreme goth. I finally got it off. And extreme goth to me is a lot of black makeup and even this eyeshadow I bought today is a lot of black makeup. I really have and that. And like your eyes to look like you don't have any. But fake eyelashes make you look like you've got eyes, I don't know, but anyway. I mean, the thing is, here on Tons from Toilet Bowl, we will give you an honest, our honest opinion. I'm trying to tell you, I'm telling you. We will give you our honest opinion. And I think that makeup coming off is quite an important thing. And I haven't got any micellar water or anything like that down here. So I've taken it off with fairy liquid and it really took some rubbing, so. Right, so in this little pack, this, this little pack here, you get inclusion magnetic eyelashes doesn't say how many you get you get five P five pairs not five eyelashes because that would be weird 
um, magnetic eyeliner fluid, which is the liquid eyeliner, and eyelashes are special tools. So the special tool is that this. And what you do with this is you get your eyelash and you open it up. You put it on like that and then you stick it on. I don't like using that though because I've never used one before. The only thing I use that for is because I don't like to pull at the hairs of eyelashes to get them off of what the, whatever it is they're mounted on. Because quite often, in the UK as anyway, I don't know about abroad, they are actually stuck to the yeah, little plastic these mount. Ain't, it is literally yeah, just I'm a not, strip I of metal. didn't know, so I wasn't sure how it was going to work, so I took them off of the mount with the tool. Right, so it says next usage method is shake the magnetic eyeliner 10 to 20 times or do it 20 times apply the magnetic eyeliner to the eyelids so you do it on the on the, on the lash line um, and wait a minute for it to dry out absorb the ma magnetic eyelash onto the eyeliner with a tool or hand to complete the wear so i done one on my fingers you don't need your fingers mm. i find it easier because that's how i've been doing it for years but you've got the tool there if you need it um it says taboo this is something that people don't usually say. Magnetic eyelashes can only be worn after the magnetic, the magnetic eyeliner is dried out. Do not do it when it is wet. It won't stick and it will get all your eyelashes all yucky, yucky, yucky and they'll become tacky and you don't want that. But, um, I mean, twelve ninety nine, and I'm really impressed with this. Well, I mean, the proof of putting me when I'm wearing this, these kind of eyelashes is if I go out, because I'll go out in the wind and that's it, my eyes are streaming. And if they can survive that... Well, you just tried to get it off and it didn't work. I tried to get it off my hand with no eyelashes on it and it didn't work, but um, yeah, obviously that's one of the things I'm going to have to try. It but because she's got that. smaller eyelashes on now, the problem that I have is because I wear big eyelashes, they tend to flick back like this. And that's where I have issues because... My eyes don't like that. The thing is, I have very, very short eyelashes naturally. So me having that lashes is abnormal to me anyway. Well, you see what happens when I put on my Bambi eye mascara. But I mean, I can't actually see myself because I've taken my glasses. I'm trying to talk to you. I can't actually see myself. So I don't know. I've got no clue what these look like. But Anyway, um, I use Bambi eye mascara as you've seen before in the tutorials. And they make my eyelashes look like they're fake anyway. So what I did was, the reason you can't see my other eyelashes is because I put mascara on as well. But don't use it on fake ones. Do not ever, ever, ever use mascara on fake lashes because yes, they might make them look longer. They're not going to last as long. I've done it so many times. I've even done it when I've had my eyelashes done professionally. They said to me, don't use mascara on them. No, no, I won't. I did. And they came off. And they came off in chunks. And they took my eyelashes with it. Don't do it. It's not good. And it does screw up your eyelashes. And then you end up with no eyelashes. And then you look like you're baldy. So, I mean, these... I don't think it's going to rip off my eyelashes when I take these off. Because it's not actually... It's on the lash line. But it's not glue. It's, it's not actually, eyeliner. It's not actually touching your eyelashes either. I mean, it... It is, but not mine because mine are so short. But so I have quite long eyelashes anyway, and I've got this little thing as well, and it says um, VIP membership benefits. So I don't know if I'm I'm not a VIP member yet. Okay, because you get a free gift, you get exclusive deals, coupons, new products, free testing sample, and giveaways opportunities. So my issue is that how to redeem your VIP benefit? Go to www.facebook. Any VIP festivals? Hang on a minute. Can you talk to people while I'm doing this? Yeah, um, as I say, this, we do give you as honest opinion as possible and because they were only delivered today, we haven't done anything like going outside with them or anything like that. Um, it has actually stopped raining. Well, okay, is, you know, so literally all you have to do is just tell them what you thought of the product. Which is what we're doing now with the little fishes. And you can get like magnetic eyeliner, lazy makeup bag, and magnetic eyelashes. Well, I know what I'll go for. Because I've got a ton of magnetic eyeliner now, so. But, um, if I'm being honest, I have trouble using the 
actual ones with the Z in. But these are so easy. And literally, it's less than a minute to apply. You was a bit concerned as well that they wasn't going to stick, wasn't you? Yeah, because how many times of anyone who's worn fake eyelashes ever, how many times have you put on the glue and that would stuck? But then they're going to... A, a few years ago, they did magnetic eyelashes, and I was just like, yeah, I don't believe the hype. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And then they, when they bought these ones out, I was like, yeah, I don't believe the hype again. And I was just like, but surely, if they've re-brought them out, they've got to be better than the last ones, Right. But I was still a bit sceptical and I didn't believe it. And I was just like, no. Nah. And then I thought, do you know what? If I'm going away, I don't want the bother of having to sit there for about an hour trying to sort out my eyelashes. It just looks like easy that I could just stick on and go. So I thought I'd try it. And I saw some on Wish. And instead of having a strip of magnet on the eyelashes, they had like three magnets placed along the eyelash whether that works i wouldn't like to say because obviously it's not going to stick with the magnets or not so um but these are so easy they're very comfortable they've not got well. a strip either they i'll show you they've not got a strip of magnetic magnets but it's quite close together so like i don't know if you're going to be able to see that because i've got like a lot of black I'm wearing a lot of black today but you've got like a magnet there a magnet there a magnet there a magnet there and a magnet there so they stick on the ends perfectly and because they've got quite a lot of magnets and literally you don't even have to actually put them on your eye they will just snap on and it sounds quite painful no no pain it's, it's not painful but anyone who's used a magnet you don't have to put the magnet guy. I mean, two fridge magnets. They're not going to work. They're going to push away from each other. No. I already did. Okay. Now, two fridge magnets stuck together. That works, yeah? But if you look, you barely have to touch it. And that is what these eyelashes are like. Look, the eyelashes, be careful because they can get stuck together. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have to... Uh, you take them off one at a time, obviously, if you're quite careful. Really. I've got to show you guys something that I bought today. No, I'm just going to show you everything that I bought. Screw it. That's the easy Yeah, she's good. going to do an uh, online shopping haul. Because we have been having deliveries all day because she's spent an obscene amount of money on, on Amazon. Um... But like I say, I don't normally wear false eyelashes. These are quite comfortable. Um, I don't know how well you can see them on camera, but I've actually got eyelashes the first time in my life. Other than when I've worn falses and when I had those, um, I actually had weaves done in, my, what? in Stratford, the eyelashes. Yeah. I had an eyelash weave done in Stratford. First of all, and it's supposed to have lasted like two weeks and it lasted about three days. I got this. I got this. This is Berlin tears. Um, and I bought that because I was upset because I wasn't going to Berlin. So I treated myself. They don't know I've got it yet, but they will. Um, right, so I bought another one of those because the black is holding out quite well, but I haven't washed it yet. I'll probably be washing it tomorrow. Ugh, scrunch. I'm not. <laughs> but you have to let it set into your hair or it's just going to wash out completely. So I'm not a scrunch. Now a lot of you are probably thinking that you're scrunchy cow, but I'm not. It's just that I've got to let it sink into the hair. Well, that, have, it's not greasy or anything. You don't so. have to wash your hair continuously because but it's it's not greasy or anything. So I'm doing okay, you know. So, but I bought another one of these, and then I bought because I'm so sick of live color. Because I mean, it didn't even work. We did it, and it didn't actually cover all of it. My hair is so annoying at the moment because I back combed it to look a bit more raw today. Because I've got to do a picture for loving tears, so I thought I'd just you know goth it up a bit so yeah anyway um i bought this one now i know this works fire this works this works so well it doesn't last very long 
Now, it lasts longer than the life color. This is a fiver. That was a fiver. Then I bought this, and I can't remember how much this was. I think it's three pounds something. This is what I've got on now. I'm not going to open it because it's going to go everywhere. Um, but this is very, very pigmented eyeshadow. It's got like twinkly bits in it. It's called Firehead. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so it's me, and it's called Shimmer Pigment Eyeshadow. This is by Ferro. Now, bear in mind, we're not um, sponsored by anything, no. but we that is who it's by. And they don't test on animals or anything, it's all vegan and cruelty free and everything. Um, not that I'm a vegan, but you know. This is the other magnetic eyeliner I bought, which is that one, which is by them again. So that's. And that one is oh, yeah. yeah it's that just like normal eyeliner but it's magnetic you know and that one is super hold wind resistant 100 percent harm free contains iron particles so it says on there it's not going to harm your eyes it doesn't it's good and if you look on the back the easiest way to wear magnetic lashes whatever it's called, magnetic eyeliner is waterproof, smudge proof, latex free and magnetic. It glides on smooth and stays on. There is no running, fading or flaking. And there is you saw in my hand. That wasn't that one, that was the other one. Mm. Then I've got this right. You probably notice I have a moon here with my star. I, I fell in love with this, I saw it. You can get stars, you can get, I think you can get hearts and you can get moons. Now I'm obviously into witchy stuff. So I did, this one and you can just like stamp loads of moons I think you can. like that <laughs> and then you've got on the other end you've got that so that's you enjoyed that didn't you? I did that's the eyeliner but it's got like a stamp on it as well so that's really cool and I've never seen that before that was quite expensive that one was five pound something it's Chinese Heng Fang. Heng Fang. Then I've got some more of the powder because, like, I'm using the powder at the moment because it's no filter. So it's, oh, bloody hell. It doesn't, you don't have a filter. Like, it doesn't. No. It looks like you've got a filter <laughs> on and you haven't your picture took. Yeah. <laughs> You haven't. I can't speak obviously today. So you get like the little pot. It's a tiny pot. I know it's ridiculous amount that you get in the tiny, but you get a nice little and it's white. It's white. It's clean. Oh, I feel so soft. Oh, I love it. And and that that you. But uh, what I do because I like to look dead as anything, and I do at the moment. You just dab it on, and then you just get your brush, and then you just sort of smudge it in. That seems to be the best way to do it. What kind of was that you done the moves with? Uh, that was the Hang Fang. Yeah, that doesn't come off either. That's great. Does it say it stays? I don't know. It's written in Chinese. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, uh, licky taste. It's faded it. Okay, it will come off with a wash. And then I got this one. Right, now... The thing is, the powder is so small. This is supposed to be 30 mil, but I don't actually think it is because that doesn't look very nice. It's got red all over it because I had that eyeshadow. This eyeshadow doesn't come off, as I found out earlier, because I had it on my hand because I was trying it out and I had it on my hand. That's great, but it doesn't come off. So I thought, oh, okay, I used the foundation over top. didn't come off. So I was a bit stuck. No, 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 because you're not pressing It's pure it. pigment, that's why. Um, but this, you're gonna get some like foundation on you now. Oh, is my color, and it's so hard to find foundation that's my color. That's way too powerful, you in it. <laughs> it. It doesn't even match. It matches my skin. I got some of this on today because I put on um, 
Yeah, but bear in mind, the, the, the colour on your arms is never the same colour as on your face. But yeah, but that's say. still too powerful. Yeah, I know. I put on um, the Maybelline and then I put that on over the top because this is full coverage. But, I wash my hands now. Yeah, it does seem to be quite thick. Um, it is very thick. It's a soft matte longwear liquid foundation, coverage foundation, naturally flawless, oil controlling and lightweight feel. Lightweight feel, it feels heavy, okay? It does feel heavy, but it is really good. It feels like sunscreen. Yeah, but it's always shake before you use to activate pump foundation on the back of your hand. Start with one pump for medium coverage and build to full coverage with the second pump if desired. Pick up the foundation with your brush. Start in the center of the face, working outwards. Blend into skin using short downward strokes. Blend well into the jawline and hairline to ensure an even appearance that looks like skin, not makeup. Yeah, that's what you do with that. That's what you do with the foundation. But um, that is what I got today. Um, no, I don't like the thing that I I should be getting some more. I mean, older to an older. I got um, actually got a really good deal. I got twelve shimmer eyeliners for like four pound forty nine or something. So they should be here soon. I bought. A, I told you yesterday. I bought another version of Stay Alive, which was the um, oh crap! What was it? It was the director's cut. What else did I get? I think that was it. I don't know. I don't know. But this is all stuff that I'm going to take with. Or obviously, that's going. Well, to not be, the DVD. Well, no, and this is going to be on my hair, so I won't be taking that with me. But all of that stuff that I've just shown you, including these, it's all come with me. Now I've got to try. I bought some of the airport liquid bags because mine snapped in a dramatic way. It sort of round where you know where the like um, press thing the is. Seal. Yeah, the seal. It just the handle kind of just went. I'm not doing this anymore. It just broke off. Like it broke kind of off, but not fully off. So it's just like, I'm not doing this anymore. It's just ripped along the seal. And I was like, oh, well, it wasn't actually on the seal. It was just above the seal. And I was just like, okay. Didn't want to do it anymore. Just didn't like it. So I was like, okay, sod it. And I bought some more of them today um, because I needed them. So that foam area, area stuff, this one? Yeah. In American. Yeah. I noticed that all of my uncles have got an American foam. But they are really good. Like I've I used their powder. I think that's all I have used of theirs. But I w it just I wanted to try it out. So you know I thought I'd buy some eyeliner that I end up getting magnetic, which is fine, which is fine because you can use it as normal eyeliner as well. Because oh no, this is Rimmel. I've got Rimmel on top. But you can use it as normal eyeliner, which is great because I use so much on my eyebrows. These eyebrows. Take so much. Although, wouldn't it be funny if I stuck the eyelash and it got stuck to my eyeball? <laughs> yeah, but um, so but you have to keep your hair out of the way because it does go a bit sticky before it dries. Um, but it would be quite funny to, yeah. Then you don't really have the So, what does pigment eyeshadow mean then, Mum? Pure pigment just means it is pure colour, so every bit of it. Normally, when you get a pressed powder, it's got tonk mixed in with it. And if it's one of those tonk is either a light pink colour or white. Bad for your skin as well. If it's pure pigment, that means that there is no white in it at all. It is just colour. Like that. See? And I have been after red eyeshadow. Red eyeshadow for ages <laughs> because I've... You guys all know that I am a glitter fiend and I wear red glitter because it matches my hair and I wear red glitter there and black glitter there because it matches my hair and I can't wear glitter on top because it's way too much I've done it and it, no no it just looks no um it's way too much it's way too heavy for the top of your eyes as well so I wanted to get some red eyeshadow because what are you doing as a lot of you know I like to mix whatever color I've got here with the top didn't have any red, couldn't I think do it. He's after the water, man. So um, I had a bit of a dilemma because I was trying to get a red eyeshadow that was red. Because you go on, you buy a palette and you think it's red and it comes out either orange or pink. Well, I don't want orange or pink, I wanted red. So I thought I'm gonna buy a red and I bought that one. 
And actually have to say, it is lasting me a long time. I've had this on for a while now, haven't I? And it's not smudged or gone out of place. You, I didn't get a lot of fallout with it either, which is surprising considering it's loose. But one thing with the um, eyeliner, with the magnetic lashes, please put your eyeshadow on first. I know that people are gonna have what? It's mental. Because you just put your eyeshadow, eye eyelashes and then your eye eyeshadow, whatever. I don't. You don't, but some people do. Put your eyeshadow on first. Use it as it is makeup. It is makeup, it's eyeliner, so just do it as you would your eyeliner. Put your eyeshadow on, then draw the line, then put your eyelashes on. I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's messed up. But no, that's what you have to do. Um, if you don't like to wear eyeliner and you like to wear eyelashes, to be honest, when you're wearing fake eyelashes, you look like you've got eyeliner on anyway. So it doesn't make any difference because you've got the strip from the eyeliner, I, from the eye. Ah, eyelashes. from the eyelashes so just put the eyeliner on it's the easy way of doing it they're really easy to use they're really convenient and like when in Berlin I'm not going to want to sit there for like half an hour to an hour just going look put it this way I haven't worn fake eyelashes for about five years because you did when yeah, I did your makeup yeah you, know you put them on yeah it was a nightmare to get eyelashes on me because, as I say, conventional eyelashes, forget it. But using the magnetic ones, I just put the eyeliner on and then the, uh, the eyelash went on so easily that even I could do it. To be fair, okay, they are more expensive. I'm not gonna lie, they are a bit more expensive, but they are, if you wanna wear false eyelashes, they are so worth it. And they don't have to be disposable. <laughs> no, they're not disposable because these ones are met oh. they're metal, so they're not disposable. Like, you can wear them more than once. And yeah. they're not... Put it back on. They're not um, like normal eyelashes. So when I take them off, I'll probably try and get the eyeliner that's on them off of them and then put put them back on the strip and use I don't know how you'll get the eyeliner off because I've just had a real trial getting it off my hand. I don't know whether my silver water will take it off. Probably. But then again, if you put it on properly, but then you, you shouldn't me, have any. You so. saw me with soap and water. <laughs> yeah, like, I just pulled it off and put it back on again. It doesn't really, because if, if you use the eyeliner properly and you let it dry and then you use it, it's not going to get any eyeliner on it. But this is what I'm saying. Usually, when I'm going out and I put fake eyelashes on, uh, uh, I usually have to do it about mm, an hour to half an hour to an hour before I go out because, just because, the positioning of the eyelashes, trying to get it to stick in the right place and then not fall in or not like if you do it at the end there, you always have an issue with the either that corner or that corner of your eye doesn't like stand in the corner of your eye does it so you have to like get it and then you have to do that and then you have to do the other side and it goes in your eye and you're like ah oh, and then you have to like spend ages positioning it then you have to cut it because it's too long hell it is hell with these put the eyeliner on give it a minute let it dry stick your eyelash on you're ready to go that's what i need i need that sort of convenience because if i'm in berlin i'm not going to have time to sit there and faff that's about for an hour stick your eyeliner on do your lipstick so your eyeliner's got time to dry and then wipe your yeah. eyelashes on because putting your eyelashes on this white is so much better and also um if you want to do what i did because like you can't tell i have any eyelashes because they've blended in really really well with these fakes like you i, I don't even know where my eyelashes are i can't even see them but um now obviously my bottom ones yeah but the top ones i don't even know where they are I can't see them at all, they've disappeared. But, <laughs> okay, that's weird, I've got no eyelashes now. Um, but obviously, like, if you want to look like you, these are, well, they're not, well, no, no one's eyelashes are this long, are they? It's obviously fake, but if you want to look like you have no other eyelashes, and these are your eyelashes, put mascara on. Don't put mascara on the fakes. 
Put mascara on your own eyelashes. Do the line, stick them on, you're ready to go. It's that easy and it takes five minutes. Less than that probably. Probably less. But it literally took minutes. So like something that would take me ages before even when I could see. You set me about an hour. These are so convenient though. Like I, I am in love with them eyelashes, and I would I will get more metallic no, 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 metallic no 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 magnetic eyelashes to I go with my myself some of these with my my um it's not boy music it's the eyeliner. I want to get some I want to get me some of these. Yeah, she's got mine on the moment. Because um, but you don't need to get that like your length because you've got short eyelashes anyway. You don't need a lot of length. Maybe I want big ones. I'm only saying the big ones are more expensive. Like you can get smaller ones for eight pounds something. Maybe I want big ones. I was gonna buy them ones, but I didn't. I bought them ones instead. So. Yeah, because I don't. I have very, very, very short eyelashes naturally. And you don't need to go for a really expensive brand. That's another thing, because people are always like, "Oh no, you know, if the you go for the more expensive brand, they're better." That is bull. That is so much bull. Just because they're more expensive doesn't mean they're better, does it? And you're spending out, I mean, oh, they'll do some and they are ridiculous prices. I was looking online on Friday, I think it was, no, it wasn't Friday. Sunday morning, well, early Monday morning, it was about three o'clock when I ordered these. And I was literally sitting there going through eyelashes and eyelashes and eyelashes. And I was like, right. I want magnetic eyelashes. Now, I wasn't actually gonna order any magnetic eyelashes, I was just looking at them, and I was like, okay, well, I need to get what I've got. And I was like, do I need to get magnetic eyelashes? No. And I was sitting there and I was thinking about it, and I was like, well, if I get them, then I can see what they're like, and then I can be fake. And, and you always think in. to yourself, if I get them, then they crack. But I was like, okay, so I'm going to go for these ones. If I hadn't have liked them and it had gone the other way, I would have wasted $12.99 on eyelashes. But these were so worth it. They are worth $12.99. They are worth more than that. I would probably spend about £20 on a proper set of these. These, I mean, these are a proper set, but... Because I don't like to wear one size. I would probably spend about £20 on like, you know, like 10 sets or something. Because I really, really like them and they are so convenient and they just, you know, it's like... They're very comfortable to wear as well. Yeah, I mean, like these are huge. These are really, really long and I'm... These are the longest I have actually worn. Yeah, it makes you feel that they're there. These are the longest I've worn. And normally that would be driving me back, shit, back crap by now. I didn't say it, I said shh. Normally, said she. No, I didn't say the full word. Normally that would be driving me absolutely mental by now. She only um, done it four times. I've only done it twice. Oh, angel. But ordinarily, these would be driving me mental by now and I'd be itching to get them off. They are very comfortable to wear, I will say that from. And they're flexible too. But the thing is, I wear glasses. So the thing is, I'm so used to having my glasses up here, really close to my eyes. I can't do that when I've got glasses on because I hit the lenses and it really annoy me. So I have to wear my, my glasses a bit further down and I look weirder. But, um, but it's not, I mean, they're stuck on. So it's amazing because that doesn't happen with me. And they usually like come off on a corner and then they come off on the other corner and then they like start peeling off on a... And halfway through the day, it, if I'm filming, it's hell. Because if I'm doing some sort of like video shoot or a photo shoot or something, and I've got these eyelashes on, and they start peeling off. I'm just like, ah, oh, screw it. Not the best thing to do because then you've got a line, and then you're like, I need eyeliner. <laughs> Desperately need eyeliner, and they generally like, and I no, you've got to use your own eyeliner. And I'm like, ah, oh, I didn't bring it with me. So then you have to do the rest of the photo shoot or video shoot with a line, and it looks really weird. So, I I like these. These will not leave me with a line either because they're eyeliner. So, if you do decide you don't want to wear them. I some Kaylee's phone thing that tells you what age you are. 
the, the phone's got Wi Fi in me because it said I was 26 at one point. And I was female, not a man. You said I was 40 before now. It usually says I'm a man in my 50s, but no, it said I was a female and I was 26. For a second? For it frightened back up to 46. Yeah, but it did say 26. For a oh, second? 26. No, that was called, it was trying to analyse your face. No, that was called, no, it I does. was 26 for I a second. I was 18. For a second, yeah. I've also been two on there before. Well, I said if you use that, you won't cream, you look like a fetus. I don't look like a two-year-old. Don't. <laughs> Windy smiles. being mean now i'm not being mean well um yeah so get get metallic eyelashes but if you can't use eyelashes then don't what them. am i buying magnetic eyeliner eyelash sweet sweet i don't know right there is actually a sell by date on these now a lot of people do go by sell by dates i don't personally but the sell by date that's on here it says expiry date 20th of 8 to 2023 that's for the eyeliner that's not going to last us that long that is the eyeliner that's inside of here that is not the eyelashes the eyelashes don't have a sell by date on them the, the eyelashes and also <laughs> to be honest that, that eyeliner won't last until 2023 no way but um they are really good i don't normally use eyelashes i normally have problems with them as i said they are a mess in yeah and i will definitely be using them again and even if you've got sight loss as i have you can actually get them oh look, it's quite easy the back is written quite large as well you can probably read that yeah can I? yeah it's written in big so you can see what it says and how to use them and stuff they're really really good they're really decent and they're amazing and i love them and i i can't praise these enough uh, magnetic eyelashes are my new thing now and i will probably be wearing these every day for my videos on here so yeah because they're so easy to use they're just it's so simple i wear eyeliner every day so, so the thing is what we do wearing makeup every day to me though it is a commitment this is dedication because i don't normally wear makeup it's quite rare unless i'm actually going out somewhere i don't i don't wear makeup when i go shopping i don't wear makeup when i go to the shop you know ordinarily i don't i don't wear it this would work for you because it's full coverage it gives you a flawless full coverage reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles Ordinarily, I don't wear makeup. So to actually put on my makeup every day to do the videos for you people, it is quite a big commitment for me. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you know, please bear that in mind because this isn't something I usually do. And I haven't even got something to say to Kai. What about the songs and that? Oh, the little dances that we used to do when we used to beat each other up with the, the, the rocking chair. And we used to elbow each other. Yeah, Kai, I remember that. The dances. Oh, my God. Like, Kai was talking to me earlier about other songs we used to sing at school. And he put up a thing on Facebook, and I was like, oh, yeah, I remember the songs. I was like, yeah, what do we do with a drunken sailor? And then I reminded him of this Australian one we used to sing. And the, the bit at the end goes in an old rocking chair, and we used to beat the crap out of each other. With the rocking chair because we used to, it was a rocking chair and we used to just elbow out each other and it was yeah it was horrible but we were kids and we hated each other and now we're really good friends so sorry kai <laughs> i love you really Mwah. i didn't used to but i do now <laughs> um yeah so it was uh quite funny that we used to do that and then he reminded me of all that and it was like ah oh, things have come had, flooding back i never had a problem with Kai. he just used to ignore me yes at the kitchen door oh bloody hell <laughs>
It's Michelle. Would you like to step in? I would not like to appear on camera. So. <laughs> well, don't. Just step in, but don't appear on camera. Hang on. There. Go on, go on, okay, go on. You can do it. You can do it. I've got my hands over the camera. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but Michelle has just arrived and she doesn't want to appear on camera because she looks... If you stand there, you've got to be right on camera. Okay. So come right in. <laughs> oh, she thinks she looks rough, but I don't think she looks rough. No, I think you look rather sexy in that. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, Kai. You know, I remember that. It was fun. It was. It was. <laughs> You've beaten each other up. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have to end this here now because... Yeah, because Michelle the member of our team has just arrived. Would you like to say hello to the little fishies? Hello, everyone. So she's here. Quietly, she is actually here. <laughs> I am here. Yeah, yeah come on. Hang on. There, there we go. Look. Hand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to pull you into okay. the camera. It's fine. Yeah. But, but yeah, um, she's yeah, here. The third member of our team is here. And... We want to sit around and have a cup of tea, and we can't do that because she won't. She thinks she thinks she looks rough. When you think she looks gorgeous, she says she looks rough. She's mental. Better than I do. Better than we do. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to leave that this here. Um, this was Pandora's box, actually. It was also Tales from the Toilet Bowl. Both. More Pandora's box and well, the towels from the toilet bowl was the washing hands bit, I think. Yeah, and, Kai. and the panda and the Kai bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so I'd like to say thank you for watching. Be kind and considerate. And this has been towels from the toilet bowl. And and say Pandora's, God's sake, just Pandora's say that. box. Thank you. That was a new one. <laughs> I know. It was a mix. We did a mix. <laughs> Remix. <laughs> no. Tell us <laughs> No. <Yeah. laughs> anyway, um, so we'll be back with you tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow. Wait a minute, Tiggy. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Till then, be kind and considerate. This has been Towels. From the toilet bowl. And, and Pandora's. Box. I should say Pandora's. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye.